Welcome to a new vlog. It is Thursday today and it's a glorious day. I want to say it feels like an early spring day, but let's be honest, it's early February, so it's a mid-winter day. Started off with a reform of Pilates. I actually wasn't booked in, so I just kind of tried my luck and turned up and luckily there was space for me. And then I used the, um, what is it called? Woodway Curve, you know, the running machine that doesn't have power like you are the power and it's curved like a like an arc and you kind of run up the hill on it brutal absolutely brutal um however it's not hair wash day so that is a bit of a conundrum after that kind of workout so i'm relying on this this morning living proof perfect hair day advanced clean dry shampoo so we're just gonna let that apparently you're not meant to brush it out straight away so i'm just kind of letting it sit in my hair um i wanted to show you my favorite little duo for trying to keep my face as tanned as my body as you can see right now <laughs> there's a little bit of a difference so mission over the next couple of days is to get my face the same color as the rest of me does anyone else's face just get pale so quickly i'm just in love with this it's the youth balm from beauty pie i use it in the evenings as well it's very similar to the estee lauder oops a daisy advanced night repair but a fraction of the price i did some instagram stories about this the other day it was their best seller most highly rated product on beauty pie last year and i can see why it's a mega like full of lovely botanical ingredients, anti-aging, um, brightening, firming, all the good stuff, but a fraction of the price. It's like the results of an expensive skincare product without the price tag. And it works really nicely with this, which are my Saint-Tropez tanning drops. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands afterwards. There we go. I find that by adding a tanning serum into my morning serum it just helps me to like integrate it into my routine a little bit more easily so this is my current go-to little combination i'm going to put uh this on my body this is the decleor gradual gradual glow hydrating milk for face and body not sure that i'd put it on my face um but it's a really nice lightweight one and i'm just trying to cling on to my tan for as long as possible so that's the plan so today um i want to get outside because it's such a nice day i bought another hellebore from the garden shop this morning we're heading to chloe's house for dinner tonight my pilates instructor chloe um with her husband and another lovely local couple. So that's gonna be a really nice evening. Um, and I want to pot up a little hellebore to take to her house as a little thank you for hosting us gift. I also picked up some rose kombucha, which I think sounds delicious. So gonna take that along as well. I also have a couple of amazing coats to share with you that I have been sent by Santini, which I always think of as just like Freddy in a coat, <laughs> Freddy in a brand. Um, and I'm borrowing these to take one of them, or maybe maybe a couple of them, with me to Paris. I'm going to Paris tomorrow, so I've got my suitcase out. I need to do a little bit of packing today. Um, and I also want to take a few snacks with me because sometimes in Paris, in the past, I've just struggled to find snacks that aren't really um, junk foodie. <laughs> so I'm going to make some energy balls and I actually, I'll pop the photos on the screen here. I took some photos in the shop this morning. Dalesford have got these chocolate, coconut and seed oat bites. Obviously not like mega healthy, but I thought they'd be a really nice little thing to have in my handbag. So I'm going to attempt to make those later on today as well. So that's the plan. Right, I'm going to get my body lotion on. 
While I do that, I'm gonna leave you with the most gorgeous one minute video that Jake shot when he was last here shooting for us. It was shot in vertical, um, so if you want to see the proper version, then head over to the Old House Our Home Instagram. Um, just because you should definitely follow that channel anyway. We've got some really lovely like late winter photos going up this week. Um, and you can see the proper version of the video, but I asked him if he would do a landscape edit that I can show you here on YouTube. The end clip on this one minute, just gorgeous video, really reminds me of when the camera pans up over Downton Abbey in the opening intro to that. Not that our house is anything on Downton Abbey, High Clear Castle, but um, it just reminds me of that. So you guys enjoy this one minute of wholesome Cotswold loveliness and I'll get my body lotion done. <laughs> enjoyed that lovely little video. Do you think I should do a 20 second version of that as our outro and then switch that up every season or do you like the flat green card that we made for the end? Let me know your outro preference down below. I'll do an edit of that for today's outro um, and you can let me know. Something else that I want to do and I might just actually do it now um, because I like to let my moisturiser sink in as long as time allows. There's nothing wrong with my nails at the moment, they're still looking great in their French mani, but I didn't know if I might want to add like a little sparkly top coat, um, just to make them a little bit more pearly for our trip to Paris. Let me go and get my polishes and we'll see. Right, so I've got my little lamp from Manicurist. This is just so handy to have if you like, if you get bored of your nails quite quickly. Um, and I think, so you might remember in Vlogmas, I ordered these from an Instagram ad. They're from a company called Gel Care. There's Oyster Velvet, which has got a bit more actual color to it. And then there's Polar Mist. And Polar Mist, I think, it's just like a little bit of sparkle. Can you see? And I just feel that this could look really glorious over the top of a French. So I'm just gonna push my cuticles down, just literally using my thumb. I'll probably just test this out on one nail first. I, this is risky because this French Manny is still looking perfect. The only reason why I wanna do something a bit different is where my nails, my actual nails have grown so long, the French tip is like not as long as the actual tip of my nail. Right, let's give this a try. Tilt you down there. So it's just like a really fine, almost glazed donut kind of finish. Oh yes, I do like that. So can you see the difference? So this thumb is the one that I've done and it's just got that little bit, let's try and focus you. It's just got that little bit of like pearliness to it. Very subtle but I love it. So I'm gonna do all my nails. I'm just gonna carry on watching Leonora's latest vlog in the background. It would help if you plug your lamp in, Doris. Okay, let the Manny begin.
my darlings. I really hope I didn't flash you too many times during that session, but here we go. So beautifully moisturized with my OPI Avenoplex, Avoplex, I think it's like an avocado oil, um, cuticle oil, and then we've got the Polar Mist on top of my French Manny, which is just gorgeous. And I'm going to finish with, I've got this one handy. It's my Aurelia Aromatic Repair and Brighten Hand Cream. I do love to treat myself to a little at-home mani and my skin is quite dry still from our holiday so I am having to apply hand cream quite irregular oh, but that just is the perfect finishing touch. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm really, really pleased with how that turned out. It's just really lifted my nails and it's given them just that little subtle bit of sparkle. I'll probably get a Valentine's Day mani um, the week after I get back, getting my hair coloured at home. So I might get my nails done at the same time. Right, there we go. <laughs> a little speed through of my everyday five minute makeup. I think you mostly know the drill, um, not much has changed. Starting with Yves Lam, factor 50, I think I've probably got enough in here to take that with me to Paris and not run out. Um, and then again with the mission of getting my face and my hands the same colour by Terry CC, gorgeous for giving you the glow. I did consider a different foundation today just for the sake of variety but I just keep going back to my Aborian, my Aborian BB Creme, shade Dore, SPF 20, baby skin effect, it has got a little bit of skincare in there, so it's great for smoothing, as well as, I think, the best coverage, like, oh, oh sorry, just reorganising <laughs> my lipsticks, um, yeah, I think the coverage that it gives, and the kind of non-cakiness, natural, your skin, just with a little bit of coverage, chef's kiss. What did I do then? Um, bronzer. I used the Guerlain. I was feeling powder products today as opposed to creamy. Golden Leopard Bronzing Powder. 96% naturally derived ingredients. Hmm. Lovely. And then I've got to say I am a little bit in love with this new blusher that was very kindly sent by the Tom Ford team. Cute packaging. I've never seen Tom Ford do don't think I've ever seen any colour from Tom Ford really, um, but it's red with a little heart and good timing, pre-Valentine's Day, little heart-shaped blush in the shade 01 Love Scene. I wore this yesterday and I kept catching glimpses and thinking, oh, what a pretty blush. And often I don't think you really think about your blush, it's just there. Um, but I actively love this one, so thank you Tom Ford. Then I did my broken rhodial, rhodial. Can you see how broken and gross that is? Glass powder. But it really is wonderful, especially if you use it with, I love the Beauty Pie Pro Blend Blush Brush. I think that, ooh, this is what happens when you go like that too much when you um, clean them. So I need to give that a bit of a reshape. 
forgot to mention my concealer. This is the Beauty Pie Everyday Great Skin. It's got some lovely hydrating ingredients in there and it never creases under the eye. I love the super luminous under eye concealer, but when my skin's a bit dry, it can crease the teeniest bit, even though it's like super strength brightness. Literally your eyes look like headlights. This is a little bit less intense, um, still illuminating as you can see, and it's just the most gorgeous like ingredients to really nourish. So on my eyes, I just love this palette. Even just looking at it makes me so happy. It's the Dior eyeshadow palette in Blooming Boudoir. Even the name makes me exceptionally happy. It's just, it's just divine. It's just something that makes me happy every day. So I pop that as the base and then that a little bit on the crease. Stunning. I love the big mirror in the lid as well. Again, I think that's going to come with me to Paris. Brows. I love this Victoria Beckham Baby Blade in the shade Taupe. Love it. Really nice colour, especially for blondes. And then I'm still just in love with my little TikTok bare brow. I think you can get it on Cult Beauty, which may mean that you can use the discount code that I have on it. So I'll leave that link down below alongside everything else. On my lips, just a nice little natural combo. This is the Clay de Peau Lip Liner in the shade... I actually have no idea what shade it is. I don't think it tells you. <laughs> that is a mystery, but it's almost like a brownie pink, which I love. And it's so lovely that I kind of scribble it a little bit onto my lips as well. And then, sorry, everything that I'm showing you is gross because I think these were all in my holiday makeup bag and something exploded. Probably my rhodial glass powder just on everything. Allies of Skin, Ceramide and Peptide best lip balm in the world um, on top and that just turns your lip liner into a balmy lipstick which is lovely. I've also really gone back to loving, I've got a feeling they may have discontinued this, my Grace lipstick from Bare Minerals. Look how little I've got left so I need to see if I can find that online anywhere. I haven't popped that on yet today um, but I probably will if I do any more filming later. Lashes, shout out to this. It's this cute little pearly, it's literally like a white pearl, tweezer man, tweezer man, a tweezer man, lash curler, and then more rhodial glass powder all over my mascara. Bare Minerals Strength and Length. It's a mineral formula, so it's actually nourishing your lashes while coating them, which is lovely. And finalmente, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, because no makeup look is complete without this. It just kind of blends everything together, melts everything together, gives you the glow, gives you long-lasting makeup. So, big fan. Okay, I feel like we've spent enough time in this dressing room chatting away, haven't we? So, I'm going to go downstairs. Let's make those delicious energy balls, or they might be bars, who knows, balls or bars. Um, and then head out into the greenhouse, pot the hellebore. And then it'll be time for lunch. Okay, we're back in familiar territory. I'm gonna be making something yummy. Um, did I mention this is because I wanna have little snacks to have with me on our trip, especially for tomorrow when we're getting the Eurostar. It'll be nice to have some little healthy snacks to keep us going. So I've actually had a slight change of mind um, because I don't have, what is it that I don't have? There's something that I don't have um, for the Oh, oats. So the other thing that I showed you this morning from Dale Spadar, oat bites. Um, but I've decided also because I've got some figs, dried figs left over from Christmas from our cheese board. I'm going to try making the fig and cacao bars. These ones also inspired by Dalesford. So what I'm going to put in mine, their recipe uses maple syrup. But I've also got loads of dates and... I've never put maple syrup in my energy balls before and I don't think they need it. The dates are obviously sticky, as are the figs, so hopefully that'll act as a binding agent. Um, I am going to be making them yummy, so I've got my dark chocolate cacao nibs, which I get from Amazon. Pretty much all of our other things um, I get from, including these, I get from the Buy Whole Foods online website. I get my nuts, my seeds, my goji berries, everything comes in these compostable, are they compostable? Yeah, I think so, um, bags. So yeah, Buy Whole Foods online, that is where I get my bits and bobs from. So as well as the cacao, the figs, the dates, 
I'm gonna pop in almonds. Oh, that lighting is crazy. Almonds because yummy, good fiber. Um, sunflower seeds. I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm flashing you a little bit. How gorgeous, by the way, is this jumper? It's um, from The White Company, their current loungewear collection, which actually includes my trousers. Can you see they're like a, like a linen? But they're, they're like almost jeans, um, a little bit loose, but just very comfortable, a, a nice alternative to just wearing leggings all the time. But yeah, that V's a little bit low for me. Gosh, sorry, this lighting is cray cray. Um, yeah, and then to be honest, I'll stick in some chia seeds and my general seed mix, which just means it's gonna be so good for you. I've actually been saving these little jars um, from Charlie's Morning Yogurt. And I think I'm gonna make up a little seed mix and take it with me because you never know what the breakfast situation is gonna be like. And whatever the situation, I'm sure there'll be yogurt. Um, and then if I take my own little jar of seeds, then I'm getting my good variety of um, goodness in the morning. So that's, that's my plan. So I'm gonna take those with me. Okay, as always, I'm gonna make this my Thermomix. You could do it by hand if you really wanted to, um, but if you've got a blender, then I would recommend. Having said that, I did see M tried making these um, in a regular blender and it just kind of all smushed up. It didn't go, go too well. So um, a strong blender is probably a good requirement um, for making energy balls and bars like this. You can also add oats. Charlie and I used to be huge oat lovers. I used to put it in my morning smoothie, Charlie would do like steel cut oats or overnight oats, but we've really not gone off them, but kind of thought that they don't really add anything. They fill you up, yes, but they don't really have any nutrients. So we've not repurchased oats lately. So I don't have any to stick in here. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get making. They look like mushrooms, but these are my <laughs> dried figs. And then for everything else, I just kind of make up the quantities as I go. There's maybe like six or seven dates there. Now my hands are sticky. Sunflower seeds. Okay, I've added the almonds and the gojis. I'm actually gonna blend this lot up first and then do the rest of my seeds because I don't want everything to be completely obliterated. avocado toast for lunch, dukkha from quince and clover, our seed mix, um, and two types of microgreens. That was delicious. I've now put a few of my little seeds in this jar, like I said, to take with me. Um, and Charlie has picked up, I don't know where from, probably from Dalesford, some of these Agua de Madre culture shots. Kind of like, I don't know, a glass version if you watch to the end of the last vlog when Charlie and I were giving our very honest <laughs> review of the Zoe gut shots. My main criticism was that they were in a single-use plastic um, thingy-majig. This is of course a little glass bottle. This is water kefir culture, pressed ginger juice, pressed turmeric juice. It does have agave syrup in it and cane sugar, so not all good, but um, 
yeah i do like little ginger shots but actually i'm gonna have some coffee first um as you just saw, I just unboxed a Whole Foods Online order, which is really funny, I didn't even know that was arriving, and I was just talking about them. And someone asked about our pantry and how we organise it, and I have to say, it's not especially organised, but what we do do is store everything in these glass jars. I think you can get some of them from and cuckoo which is where we've got a lot of things in this kitchen from but you can also get these lovely um ones from surprise surprise dalesford and if you're shopping online on dalesford i'll link these down below i've actually got a 10 pounds off code um i think if you just type josie into the checkout but there's also a specific link and if you shop through that link then you get 10 pounds off your order so i'll leave that down below as well and you can also find it on the discount directory um but yeah let me show you in more detail so the organization is that we've got pastas and sauces at the top then we've got seeds and things like lentils rice we've got a variety of rice white rice medium rice brown rice black wild rice <laughs> who knew that anyone ever needed quite so much rice and then we've also just randomly got some hot chocolate flakes in the corner here. Yummy. Then down here we've got things like baking, flours and sugars. Different flours here. Plain, corn flour. And then we've got sugar. And then we've got seeds and nuts. Pistachios, flaked almonds, the chocolate that I used earlier. This lovely candied ginger, which I like to put in teas. Oh, it's so good. I actually just made... Um, a nice tea for Jack who's here working in the garden because she's got a bit of a sore throat so that's perfect to pop in and then all of the nuts which we get from Whole Foods online and then down here it gets a little bit messy this is where a lot of things get stored <laughs> um, a lot of extra stuff like things that didn't quite fit in the jars we've got some granolas we've got our onions potatoes garlic ginger in there coconut oil um, spare oat milk oh i need to not forget to keep taking this my electrolyte powder from ancient and brave so yeah not particularly tidy but that is how we store things and this is our irons family calendar that charlie's dad makes every year it's actually his 70th birthday today wowza um but yeah it's really lovely we just have lots of family memories on the calendar throughout the different months really cute let me know if your family do anything like this oh dada love that photo of charlie and george so sweet oh little chicken nugget has made an appearance Well, this is just the loveliest spot to sit and enjoy my afternoon coffee. I wouldn't normally have a coffee at two o'clock, but because we're going out for dinner with our friends this evening, I thought I'd be able to handle the caffeine. So two things that I'm gonna do in the greenhouse this afternoon. First of all, I've got um, a terracotta pot here and the hellebore that I got from Dalesford this morning. I'm just gonna simply pop this in here with a little bit of compost as one of the little gifts that we're gonna take with us for this evening's dinner. The other thing, someone actually sent me a reel on um, Instagram of someone growing microgreens from chia seeds. And I don't know why I've never thought of chia seeds as seeds before that sounds really stupid i appreciate that um but i've never actually considered growing them before so i thought i would i'm actually just because chia seeds are so tiny they're not going to have much of a root structure at all so i might even just use this lid unless i can find <sighs> do you know what if you ever see these little, um, they're basically water holders so that when you put your plant pots, you rest them in it and it catches all the water from after you've watered your plants so then the roots can just drink it up. Or you, some people actually pour the water straight into here so the plant, it encourages more lateral root growth. Um, they're very, very handy, but they're also great for growing microgreens. So I'm gonna try a tray of chia seeds. So let's get cracking with that. Oh, 
while we enjoy this gorgeous sunshine. I just grabbed a little bit of gravel from the um, outside of the greenhouse to put in the bottom of here so that water doesn't, or soil doesn't completely dribble, dribble out of the bottom there. So there we go, my hellebore is potted and watered. I may have got a bit carried away watering the chia seeds and I'm aware that chia seeds go into this like gooey, squidgy thing when they come into contact with water, but I guess that's maybe just the stage before they germinate. But if this batch doesn't do anything, then it probably means I just added way too much water. It's a little bit of a soil soup at the moment, but nothing lost if it doesn't really work aside from a few chia seeds but there we go and as i just showed you my crocus today because obviously we were in here yesterday in the last vlog today they've all opened up just that little bit of sunshine is all that was needed don't they look beautiful this corner is just catching the light in such a gorgeous way What you doing over there, my bun bun? Whenever the sun is shining, my tiny bunny will always be sitting in his favorite spot by the door. What have you spotted in your garden today, little Radish? What have you spotted today, Radishi? As you just saw, I decided to have a very impromptu little clean of our outside table. There was a little dirty mossy ring from the terracotta pot that had been there all winter. And I have moved my crocus onto the table here so that we can enjoy looking at them when we're in the kitchen. They just seem too beautiful to be tucked away into a greenhouse where only, only I get to see them. So now we'll enjoy them every day. I would just like everybody to know that I've taken my treat into my bed and if ever anybody wants to play with me, this is my favourite toy. It's my favourite toy. Mummy, leave me alone, I'm snoozing. It's snooze o'clock, mummy. This is hilarious. I was just pottering around, um, trying a few things on and finishing packing and I like to just have noise in the background when I'm doing things. Um, so I popped on Alex's vlog. And this is major inception because listen to this. I'm ball today. I need to wash it tonight at the hotel, I think. Um, I'm going to stick a YouTube video on because I want to save my podcasts for the drive. So I think I'm going to actually watch Josie's <laughs> vlog. I'm also really particular about the kind of people I can watch on YouTube. I don't like people that are shouty. <laughs> it's just so funny because what I meant to show you but I didn't re rewind her video far enough was that she, ooh we've gone really dark, was that she was literally just saying that she also cannot be in silence even if she's just doing like a five minute tidy. Deja vu, so we're both doing the exact same thing, watching each other's videos. So Alex if you're watching this, hello, this is vlog inception. Wow, crazy! Anyway, um, what I was... <laughs> What I was actually trying on, this outfit does not necessarily go together, um, but I had a lovely delivery from me and Em. That new collection is stunning. And this blouse, it's kind of like, um, not seersucker, what's the word? Um, 
poplin cotton poplin not sure but a really lovely summery blouse with the most beautiful neckline detail it's got this gorgeous little scallop um really beautiful lightweight fabric i just absolutely adore it you've got little elastication around the sleeves beautiful cuff detail absolutely love it they've also sent over this heavenly pink dress which i'm in love with oh my goodness i'm gonna give that a try for you now as well and they also sent this beautiful vest i tried it over this blouse that i'm wearing now it's not not quite perfect but then sometimes i think when i've got like day three hair I know that sounds silly, but I feel like if I'm not feeling that glamorous, it doesn't do outfits justice. But what I'm thinking, I've got um, a little pie crust detail jumper downstairs that I was wearing yesterday. So I'm going to actually give that a try underneath this as well. Okay, once again, trousers, hair and makeup not really fitting the vibe. But I did just want to show you because I've just popped on um, the cashmere vest top and it's just so cute i put it on with this old little um knit which has got the nice little scalloped detail uh i just love it i think do you know what this would look gorgeous even over certain kinds of dresses as well hmm i want to have a little play around it's the kind of thing that i really need to like mix and match and play around with in my wardrobe but what a lovely layering piece bringing in some spring colors look at this gorgeous fabric I adore it. Now let's try on the pink dress. Oh my goodness. Right, let's just sort out that lighting quickly. Oh dear. This dress is just divine. Oh my goodness. Please imagine <laughs> that I've got fresh makeup and freshly washed hair. This is not doing the dress justice. But this is the beautiful dress from Me and M. As you can see, pockets, one tick. It's got a little smocked detail here at the back, which just ensures that it fits everyone perfectly. You've also got smock detail on the sleeves here. A really long zip down at the back, so it's incredibly easy to put on and off. You don't need to put it over your head. I hate it when you have to put a dress over your head. I'd much rather step into one. Um, the pleating is just sensational. The way that it pleats the pleats kind of come in a little bit on the bodice is just so flattering love this neckline and you have so many options so here i've not um unclipped it yet but you've got this little corsage which you can just kind of pin on anywhere really it's just a pin so you could put it on your chest put it on your neck you could put it on your sleeve you could even give it to your dance partner <laughs> if you wanted to and then there's also this that comes with it. Um, I think when I unboxed it, it was being used as a neck piece. So you could do an additional twizzly wizzly. Okay, that's, that's, that is in history the worst bow that has ever been done in all of time. Let's try that again quickest way to ruin an elegant outfit is with an apple watch let's ditch that how many steps have i done today oh pretty good okay so we've got bow option that looks gorgeous or if you wanted to really cinch in your waist even more you could in fact let's do it this way you could do a little bow here. I love how many options there are with this. Really cinch yourself in hugely. Make it as tight as you like. That's using the bow as a little belt. Gosh, the movement in this fabric. It's like water, absolutely stunning. I think we do have one evening where we're dressing up a little bit in Paris. So I might just take this with me for that evening. Hmm, gosh, it's so elegant. Or, of course, you could use the bow. Um, obviously, I'll snip this off. You could use this as a twilly on a handbag if you wanted to. Love this little cutout detail as well if you've got a nice necklace. We did actually find this where you can shop it online, by the way. Get so many questions on it, so I will leave it linked down below. And I will leave a dupe for it down below as well because I appreciate it's quite a pricey piece. But yes, there we go absolutely stunning i love it absolutely love it okay please 
Please completely ignore my hair. Um, it's not gonna look cute until I've got the hat on. It needs a wash. I'm gonna wash it in a couple of hours. But I just want to show you, before I reveal the whole outfit, this gorgeous little fluffy hat. It's from Santini, as is the coat, the coat of dreams. So you can do a little clip there, and then you can do a little bow, which is adorable. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest outfit of all time. This, to me, feels like... Josie's going to Paris with Freddie. <laughs> it's that kind of, did I just reveal? It's not just Freddie, I'm going with Em and Emily as well. But I feel like I live a double life. When I'm here in the Cotswolds, I want to be wearing cozy clothes, I want to wear my wax jacket, and then when I'm with the girls, I want to live my best, like, girly, super feminine life. <laughs> so that's what this outfit is all about. As I think I mentioned earlier, when I think of Santini, which is the brand of this coat, I think of Freddie. It's just, it's so her. And this outfit is an ode to Freddie. <laughs> it could not be more perfect, I think, for, ooh, spare button, for where we're going and what we're doing. The coat itself is just so elegant. You've got this little twisty faux fur on the sleeves. I mean, look at the buttons. Little pearls, little super soft, like crazy soft fluffy collar that perfectly matches the little fluffy hat. I think I'm gonna wear this as like a smart evening coat. And I've popped on my gorgeous Dior heels, which are the most perfect color in the entire world. Have you ever seen such a beautiful shoe? It's like a champagne pink. Oh, I love them so much. And then my dress underneath is not that important because most of the time that we're, you know, wanting to look cute will be actually probably outside in slightly chilly areas, so the coat is required. However, I needed something short so that it didn't ruin the finish of the coat. And I just found this quite old, um, pink club Monaco dress in my wardrobe. It's got this funky little diamond design going down the arms. So, yes, I think this is one of my evening looks sorted. I think this is the coat that I'll take, but Santini did send me three to choose from. So let me quickly show you the others because if you have got an ultra feminine style and you want something that is so beautifully created look no further than Santini because their coats are divine absolutely divine okay this is the second coat this is positively regal it's as you can see got the most gorgeous sparkle to it it's got sequins within the fabric but in the most elegant way possible teeny tiny little gold sequins pearls there almost like a boucle material as you can see it's got the most gorgeous shaping to the bodice do we have pockets yes little pockets here as well lovely little length gorgeous with the hat again matching if you were going to like a little special event outside like if you were getting married winter wedding wedding dress this coat could be a wedding dress it is so gorgeous if i was a little ballerina i'd want to live in this i feel like the other one is a little bit more versatile for paris but if we had a real like special dinner that required us to be outside then i think this would be the option it's just heavenly so heavenly santini you are so talented at creating the world's most beautiful coats. Okay, last but not least, this is the final coat, this beautiful little pink number, quite similar in silhouette to the white one, although you've got little breast pockets or faux pockets here, real little slip pockets here, three quarter length sleeves with a beautiful pearl detail. I really love a cropped sleeve, I think it's perfection. And look at the detail of these buttons, they're so unusual, like little pearl snails. Gorgeous, love it. The length of them is just so gorgeous. This one's maybe a touch longer on me, just a tiny bit below the knee. I just love them. And that second coat that I just tried on, 
so warm as well it's silk lined whereas these are just um, kind of single layer almost like a suede lining behind the brushed fabric <sighs> just perfection and I love this little hat going to keep my ears warm because I think it's going to be chilly but there we go let me know which of the three is your favorite which one would you take to Paris by the time you watch this it'll be too late I might even already be back <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know which one you would have chosen. What are you and Dexy going to do on your lads weekend while I'm in Paris? I'm going to watch lots of rugby. I love Guinness Series of Money. I love it. And we're going to have lots of hot watching rugby and then we're going to do a workout to come with me. What's Dexy's favourite workout? I only really do abs, one. <laughs> abs. <laughs> yeah. That's all you need to do. To be fair, sausage dogs have very strong core. They do. Oh, you're such a good dog. He'd be really good at reformer Pilates. Dexy's good. I know. I'm a master of pretty much everything I put my hand in. My poor too. Well, this is very exciting. Charlie placed a vital seeds order and we decided to go for some things which you can't really buy from supermarkets and things that obviously we eat a lot of. So we've got um, a beet, bull's blood beetroot, flaming barrel beetroot, a... Creazzo version of broccoli, sown in summer, harvested in autumn and winter. Dwarf green kale, yummy. Tuscan kale, ooh, a blue-green leaf, that sounds interesting. Kale grows really, really well in this garden, so that's great. A radicchio, gosh, gotta wait till June or July to sow these, my goodness. Spinach matador, that was a good one a few years ago, you can start sowing that from this month. Giant Winter, again, you can start growing that in February. Some Dazzling Blue Kale, Cavolo Nero. I'm going to be making a pasta with some of that later. Greek Basil, yummy. Sweet Genovese Basil, I have tried growing that before, didn't go very well. Some Dill, never had quite so much luck with herbs. Red Basil, Giant Parsley, and Red Russian Kale. Lovely, so that is our little selection for this year as well as last year's favourites. I bought um, some batteries to replace the battery in my AirTag. If you guys don't have these, I couldn't recommend them any more highly. It's just so useful um, to know where your luggage is when you're traveling. I put one in my hand luggage and one in my main bag. And honestly, it's so great because you use the Find My iPhone app on your phone. So I've just replaced the battery, grabbed my passport, and I'm just pulling all my bits and bobs together before our early start to Paris in the morning. Hello darlings, it's a few hours later. I've actually washed my hair so that it's clean and ready for tomorrow morning. These are the finished energy balls. I've just got them out of the fridge. I leave them in the fridge all laid out flat so they kind of harden in a ball. Um, and now I'm gonna put them in some little tubs to take with me. In fact, yeah, this is a good one because once they're eaten, you can just collapse it flat again. So I'll take a good handful of these. I'm sure I will be sharing them on the train on the way out. And then I've had what I think is a genius idea. What I'm going to do is chop up some vegetables now, like bits of leek, some kale, some cavolo nero, some carrot. Um, and then tomorrow morning, I've got to leave here at like half six in the morning. But what I'm going to do tomorrow morning is heat up one of my broths. I know this sounds crazy. Um, and I'm gonna put it in a thermos flask with the veggies and then I'll have like a really lovely broth veggie soup to have on the train. I think that's genius, to be honest. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Plenty to share around and a good handful to leave here as well for Charlie to enjoy while I'm away. little pot of veggies what you could do to make it even more filling 
don't tempt me, is to actually put some quinoa in here as well. <clears throat> and then just put it all together with your lovely warm broth when you're ready to eat it. This would be such a nice, like, healthy office take your own lunch into work because all of these veggies are going to be really filling and so good for you with the plant variety and all you've got to do at work is heat up your broth make it really nice and hot add these in and you're good to go hmm if i had more time if i'd have planned this earlier i would have done quinoa as well but i think that'll be absolutely scrumptious to have as my little lunch on the train on the way to paris Okay, my veggies are chopped, ready for tomorrow, and we are heading out now to lovely Chloe and Tommy's house for our dinner party, which I'm very much looking forward to. It's not going to be a wild late one because I've got a pretty early alarm in the morning. I'm not sure that I will film too much, if anything, later on, so I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. A one-day vlog, but you know what? I was posting my Instagram stories for the vlog that went live for me today, and there was just so much jam packed in it. It was the one that you'll have seen two vlogs ago. And when I was like doing the teaser stories, saying what's in the vlog, I couldn't believe how much there was. And I think today might be one of those as well. Just lots of things, <laughs> lots of random things thrown in all together. So I hope you've enjoyed it, my darlings. So next time you see me, I'll be en route to Paris. Thank you for watching today's vlog, darlings. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night. <laughs>